the main aim of the Ten Cities campaign is to help consumers to reduce the amount of food waste. My pleasure today is to back to cook more. Freeze fruit before it goes off to use in smoothies, etc. Alright, who's been the food pledge? My role acting as campaign manager for Wales to make sure the messages resonate here with the people of Wales. Do you love food, hate waste? How are you going to reduce? Waste or food? We're here today to raise awareness of the fact that 260 million pounds worth of beef goes in the bin every year. We love food, but we hate waste. That looks fantastic. Look at the smoke ring on that. We're here today giving tools and advice to individuals. Take your leftovers to work the next day, yeah, your lunch. And ask them to make one particular pledge to the way they use meat at home. So I've made a pledge by the food that I'm only going to use, really, to try and waste less meat. To make smaller portions. It's just bringing the idea of reducing your food waste back into people's minds. Some really simple and achievable tips. Wow. Throughout the Tetics campaign, we've been working selectively with certain partners that have got good reputations in the community groups where they're already based, so that we can really make sure we're reaching people at grassroots level. The two projects we've been running um, have been all about helping people in our communities to minimise their food waste, learn how to cook with leftovers, and save lots of money in the process as well. It was a great place to do this workshop because a lot of times places like this get donations from supermarkets and they try to create recipes with what they've got. We were very successful this year to convince Sainsbury's to donate the food that they would have wasted. Hopefully we have created a new link between the charity and Sainsbury's who are very keen to establish such initiatives. Okay guys, we're going to do the food waste ready for tonight's charity collection. So Here at Cardiff we got involved with the 10 Cities campaign because it's a subject that's very close to our hearts. We really want to work hard to eliminate food waste. We've worked with a couple of great local charities where they have taken food donations from us and they will then use that to supply to groups that they serve. The 10 Cities campaign has been a really good way to facilitate these meetings between community groups, grassroots action and people on the ground and the larger supermarkets, giving them an opportunity to make a difference. We've learned plenty from being involved with the Love Food Hate Waste campaign. It's been a, a trickle-down effect really from our colleagues so in terms of what we do within our own homes, not just whilst we're at work. bit of a confession time. My name's Sean and I waste potatoes. Is there an item that you find that you waste? The idea of Cascade Training is to get a group of people together and to pass on some key hints and tips around reducing food waste in the home and in your workplace. We waste, as householders, seven million tonnes of food and it's enough to fill the Millennium Stadium in Wales over 20 times. Isn't that a crazy thought? The statistics that come at the beginning that we introduce the session with really do grab people's attention and they're quite shocking. Would you ever freeze milk if you had any? Great. I'm just amazed that you freeze milk. I've never heard of that. What I have learned is about not to waste food, how to use up your leftovers, planning your shopping, and maximise my money when I go shopping. Great, are you ready? And I can pass on some of these tips to my friends and even when I go to the community and to my family. It's been brilliant. People have really received some of the top tips really well. It's a great idea to encourage people not to waste food. I'm with it all the way.
We've been absolutely inspired to continue with the work that we've done so far and we hope to take it on further with more charities. Other stores can also pick up and run with it, not just in the 10 cities, but in the hundreds of cities around the UK. La Fouté waste in Wales or Hoffi Boyd Kasai Grassstraff is really resonating well with the people within Wales. Um, obviously the focus has been in Cardiff so far with through 10 cities, but I'm really looking forward to taking those messages more wide scale.